All right, y'all, what I'm doing today, I'm making myself a dog collar for my dog. And then uh, what I'm using is just some eight, nine ounce uh, leather here. And I'm gonna show y'all this uh, leather cutter right here. I bought this off of Timu, and that's the only thing I ever bought off of Timu. And I just came across it through an advertisement. And I thought it looked like a pretty good uh, leather cutter. It's made out of aluminum. And um, I tell y'all, I really love this uh, leather cutter. Uh, it's small, fits in your hands good, and so far it's doing a good job. And, uh, child, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and die these uh, straps right here. And the color I'm using is uh, Phoebe's Pro Dye. It's a uh, golden brown. Get a coat of that on there, and that's what I use most time, y'all. Is the uh, Phoebe's Pro Dye? That's what I like using best. Uh, it does real good job coverage, and uh, and for me anyway, usually about three, depending on what kind of look I'm wanting. About three passes. Is uh, I'll use since it's a dog collar, I'm not going to be just perfect with it. But I go back and forth, I go this way, then I go back across it this way. But uh, being a dog collar, I'm not going to take just a lot of time uh, doing that. And then let's see here, I'm going to take some uh, Neat's foot oil and uh, I'm going to rub it in pretty good on the front side of it. It's going to just give that leather just an extra bit of uh, protection right there over the long term. Most time, our dog is kept up in a kennel. And it's really not outside, but when I put them out, put her outside on the leash, you know, she's outside and in the sun and stuff. But uh, what I'll do also, after I get through doing this, I'll put me some beeswax on it. And that's going to help... Uh, protect it also but this just soften that leather up a little bit and keep it uh make it last longer uh, tell you what while I'm at it I'll just go ahead and put a little dab on the back side too Probably not necessary. I'll just put a little bit there on the back of it. Right. This dog is on like eleven probably 12 pounds so she's not no really big dog and this collar is probably a little bit bigger than what she really needs but um, I figure this will last a long time I figure if I'm gonna make one I'd rather just go ahead and get one made and be, be done with it and uh, another thing I'll do y'all maybe this video won't be too long I just kind of Walk you through it. Talk is very simple. Uh, belt sheath. Oh, uh, there. Uh, talking about a belt sheath. I'm so used to making all these knife sheaths. Now we're talking about uh, sheaths. Uh, this dog collar. And uh, so I'm gonna put this lid back on here real quick. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, I don't know about y'all, but uh, I like using uh, beeswax. Uh, I call it beeswax leather conditioner. I, I just kind of make it myself. It's real simple. You can mix it how you want to. You can put what oils you want in. But what I use in mine is the uh, Neat's Foot Oil 
and uh, and the beeswax and uh, it's uh what I do I'll, I'll rub it on and I put it on you know several coats y'all and uh, let it dry and uh, I'll come back afterwards say when well, you're doing on my leather other leather stuff and I'll buff it and uh, with a top coat that I put on it makes a real nice protective uh, shine finish and uh, now if you just want like a matte looking finish just put your um, beeswax conditioner on it and just just leave it on there and let it dry and it'll be more matte looking I'll show you what I'm talking about here but if you want a polished look you can uh, kind of polish it let me show you what that looks like and uh, it, of course I didn't put the uh, tan coat on it but uh, let me just go ahead and polish this a bit put a tan coat on it something like that y'all it's gonna it's gonna really shine but uh, this just being uh, I don't know if y'all can tell just versus this right here you know it's just gonna be more kind of matte looking but uh, let me go ahead and uh, finish putting this on and uh, I'll be back when I get finished. I uh, had a phone call, and a couple phone calls actually, so got a little bit sidetracked here. Got a lot of missing video, I'm sure. But right now, I'm just doing a little sewing here on this uh, collar. And uh, I'll just show you how I do it here just a simple saddle stitch. I just run the stitch through, then I pull it back like this right here. And just run it back through here and cinch it and then run it back through from the bottom then run it back through here cinch it it's called a saddle stitch that's all I do that's, that's what I do all my leather work you know, it's a very strong stitch and uh, it's a lot stronger than a sewing machine because if you accidentally wear through a stitch and you uh, you can repair it right then and there, you don't have to, uh, you know, a sewing machine stitch, it comes undone, it, it can start coming unravel. But uh, with this right here, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be locked in. And my needle I use, I probably just a little bit bigger. About like a good strong needle because I'm kind of rough with stuff. So, I'll just take me a pair of little needle nose pliers and pull it through. I say the needle a little bit smaller, you wouldn't have to do that, but that's a choice you know option you know what do you want to do on that let's say I could I go buy a smaller needle and wouldn't have to do that I like these little bigger needles and that's what I've always used so I'm gonna keep using them now this uh, station I've done I've never broke any so I got finished doing a double stitching around through here that's what it's looking like right now, y'all. Uh, looks like I got this old buckle. And uh, I made this little loop right here. And uh, how this going to work, y'all, I'm going to uh, put this ring right here. Then I'll fold it back over and sew it. Like so. Then I'll come back in with my other side, my leather. And uh, they'll have my holes and stuff in it. So whenever I put it on her, this kind of like a heavy duty type collar. Um, like I say, it's not needed for the size of dog I've got, but uh, I got this hardware, so I'm gonna do it that way. And uh, what I do, y'all, when I'm finished here, um, I'll just bring you back and I'll show you maybe a couple more steps. But uh, that's what it's looking like so far. So I just want to show you how that's turning out.
All right, y'all, here it is. I uh, got it finished. And um, y'all get carried away when I start working on stuff. And really, it takes more time to turn that camera on. I don't want to make a really long video. But uh, what I did there, I just went and put my Maker Smart right there on it. And uh, then you see right there, little footprints of a puppy dog I put on it. And uh, I went ahead and put her name right here on it. And uh, on these hoes, I just punched them about a half inch apart. Uh, she's a smaller dog. Uh, on a bigger collar, I probably do a three quarter to one inch spacing on it. But that gives me a lot more uh, adjustments right there uh, for putting the collar on. And uh, so, uh, turned out pretty good, y'all. Um, I say, I. I believe it'll work out good. Um, like my hook up on her leash right there. This right here, I can just you know, hook the leash around that right there. And uh, looks like it's gonna be pretty good, y'all. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed today's video. And as always, friends, for my family years, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye bye.